Welcome to the Business Blast Podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. This episode is brought to you by Authors Unite. Authors Unite makes the process of becoming a published best-selling author as simple as sipping your morning cup of coffee. You can learn more about Authors Unite at AuthorsUnite.com. Now, let's jump into the episode. All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Business Blast podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner, and today I have Dr. Lisa Miller with us. So welcome to the show, Lisa. Thank you, Tyler. It's a pleasure to be here. Of course, pleasure to have you on as well. And uh, we'll dive right in. So the first question I have for you is, what's the best story from your life that has an underlying valuable message? Thank you for the question, Tyler. I would say that my story would relate to finding your passion in life. And so for me, I started out majoring in psychology in my undergraduate program, which I love, and I still connect my work back to psychology always. But then as time progressed, I allowed myself to follow my passion and I learned about business. I learned about sport and exercise, which those two aspects have always been a passion for me as well. And in doing that, I also found interest in spirituality as the bigger piece of overall wellness. And so I continue to follow my passions, always hoping that it leads to new and wonderful opportunities. And what's the most valuable piece of information that we should know that's within your expertise or industry? For me, what I have learned over time is that you definitely need your tools that you learn either in your trade or through your education, but underlying that are very important psychological tools that we also need to practice and continue learning. Unfortunately, I also think this is an area that is often left understudied and underutilized. So I think this is an area where we could do better in our schools, we could do better in our workplaces, and so this is where my work continues to be, is helping people develop their psychological tools for health and success. And what's your best piece of overall business advice, so not necessarily industry specific? I would say my answer to that would be to find trusted advisors along the way and keep in contact with those advisors over time not only as a source of advice for you but also as a source of where you can give back and so this makes a nice reciprocal relationship over time where you help them and they help you and everyone benefits And if you could give your younger self one piece of advice, what would that be? Oh, that's a great question, Tyler. I would remind myself to always remain hopeful and focused on what I really love doing. I think becoming an expert is also another business, uh, a key to successful business. And so making sure that you remain hopeful in your area of what you love to do and have grit as uh, what is a popular topic today. Be resilient and continue to try for what your passion and love is. And kind of go a little different path, but in your opinion, what's the key to happiness? I would say that hope is happiness and happiness is having hope. So if we can have hope, there is always a extra intensity and spirit to what we are doing. And so even when times are grim in business and in life, if you can find a way to remain hopeful, I think you can find a way to also be happy because it's 
in the journey. If you can have a hopeful journey, you can be happy in your journey because you feel like you have a destiny and you have a purpose. And what's the best book that you've read and what was the number one thing you learned from that? My favorite book, Tyler, has always been The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And this is a book by Stephen Covey. I'm waiting for the next best book about this because I think there are excellent tips in this book about being successful and how to get done what you want to get done in terms of your goals. But I'd also like to see somebody build on those in terms of our psychological skills too that are underlying what makes us so effective. And what's your favorite quote and why? Oh, that's a good one. Probably uh, it's not the size of the dog in the fight, but the size of the fight in the dog. Meaning, you know, you have to remain confident and strong in times of challenge so that despite how small you might feel in a certain situation, it's always important to still dig deep for your confidence, still remain open-minded, of course, but also be strong in who you are. Mm, I agree. Thank you so much uh, for coming on, Lisa. The last question that I have for you, uh, just before we let you go, is where's the best place for people to find you online? Oh, that's a good question. I can be found through LinkedIn. I think that's the best place to find my information. Also through Facebook and through my university as well, the American Military University. Perfect. Thank you again for coming on. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Tyler. It was a joy. The podcast you just heard was recorded with Anchor. If you want to make your own, download the Android or iOS app completely free from anchor.fm slash podcast. That's anchor.fm slash podcast.